post operative arrhythmias after surgery for congenital heart disease is usually associated with inadequate repair electrograms using the pacing wires are useful in arriving at a diagnosis six sinus syndrome in post operative congenital heart disease occurs most often in fontan and glen fontan patients tolerate junctional rhythm poorly atrial flutter can be diagnosed by demonstrating the flutter waves if the flutter waves are not obvious adenosine or recording from the atrial pacing wire may be useful ectopic atrial tachycardia can also be identified by giving adenosine to demonstrate the p waves sinus node reentrant tachycardia is a long rp tachycardia and resembles ectopic atrial tachycardia it is adenosine responsive and exquisitely sensitive to digoxin junctional ectopic tachycardia is a major problem in post op period of congenital heart disease it is a narrow qrs tachycardia with av dissociation in those with intact retrograde conduction av dissociation will not be there and diagnosis becomes difficult fever worsens the rate jet can be associated with severe hemodynamic consequences and can be lethal the rhythm does not respond to dc shock mechanism of post op jet is supposed to be irritation due to local hematoma hypothermia is useful in managing this tachycardia the most useful drugs are amiodarone procainamide and asmolol Ventricular tachycardia is associated with electrolyte abnormalities, inotropes, bad ventricular function or scar based especially if monomorphic. Overdrive pacing, cardioversion, lignocaine, procainamide or amiodarone may be used. Ventricular fibrillation needs thought of electrolytes as well as coronary compromise. Inadvertent inclusion of coronary arteries in the suture line has to be thought of. Alarms due to artifacts are also common in the ICU setting.